All right, so this is part two of the reading about dealing with toxic parent and family relationships. Um, two final cards for this reading. And I mean, this makes perfect sense, right? Nine of Swords, like this period is a really difficult one. Um, and there's gonna be anxiety, there's gonna be overthinking. When I decided to go low contact um, and even no contact for a short period of time with my family, I was constantly dealing with guilt, even for months. I dealt with guilt even after I started talking to them again. And even though I did, you know, start having some form of communication, it's a very much low contact. It's not talking about a lot of um, high profile or big things. And I've kind of learned what my boundaries are and what I feel comfortable with. Um, so it's a really long journey to get there, but it's so worth it. And let me tell you from someone who's sort of on the other side of it, I feel like I'm finally in this place where I'm able to still have these people in my life and still have conversations with them and not feel like like I had to cut them out completely, but also I preemptively know what I need to do in order to make myself feel safe. And that to me is the biggest priority. Whereas before my biggest priority was looking for worth, looking for validation in other people. So you're really in the process of letting go of that cycle. But again, you have to sit in it before you're able to move past it, right? So that's what's coming up with this nine of swords and this four of cups too, is a lot of the realizations about what you didn't have, what other people had that um, you didn't get to experience or what was normal for you may not have been what a lot of other people around you experienced and you start to realize how people with supportive families almost have like a leg up right and that doesn't mean that you won't be successful that doesn't mean that you won't reach every single goal that you have because you will but when you ha when you let that sink in and realize that even people who didn't have a lot of money but had supportive parents and then you're maybe this person who didn't have a lot of money or supportive parents like it can it can there's levels to it all right and to really experience that is going to be um where your journey is headed right now but ultimately like you're gonna be here and first i just want to visually point out like all of these cards are completely in black and white right the only color we see is the lightning with which i feel like is a is a reflection of spirit and how spirit is kind of that lifeline in getting you through this um time in your life but then we also have this card which has the full rainbow on it right it's kind of hard to see but um there we go. Yeah, it's the full rainbow. And this is the two of wands. So we're also seeing that you're looking at the big picture. And that's what you need to keep in mind as you're going through this journey of breaking these ties, because there is so much goodness coming your way. And when there aren't these people who are trying to suck the energy out of you, suck the life, suck the opportunities out of you, that it opens up so much more and the possibilities are truly endless. So I'm so proud of